Hello, in this video I'll be talking about finding percent of change. The equation we use to find the percent of change is we put the amount of change divided by the original amount. That'll give us a decimal. We're going to multiply that by 100 to get the percent and now we have the percent of change. There's a lot of applications for using percent of change and I'm going to talk about a few here. So we have our first problem. South Carolina had six seats in the U.S. House of Representatives in the 2000s. After the 2010 census, South Carolina had seven seats. Find the percent of increase in the number of representatives. All right, so we're trying to find the percent of increase. And so we have some information here. We don't care about this. That's just a year. We only care about six, it was six seats, and now we have seven seats. So first of all, we need to find the amount of change. So the amount of change, well, it's seven now, and it was six. To find the amount of change, just put the bigger number first, subtract the smaller number, and then we'll get uh, whatever answer uh, we'll get. So in this case, uh, it's going to be 1. Uh, on the bottom of the fraction is the original amount. Well, the original amount in this case is what they used to have, which was 6 seats. All right. And so the amount of change was 1. The original was 6. And now we have to do some division to figure out the percent. So uh, some long division will work here. 1 divided by 6. So we're going to have to go out at least a couple decimal places, not sure how far yet. Uh, 6 does not go into 1, it goes into 10 one time. Remainder of 4, so bring down that 0. 6 goes into 40 six times. With the remainder of 4, bring down another 0, and we can see that it's going to repeat um, 6 every time. So we could give an approximate approximation here. So we have 0.16 and then actually we're not going to start with the approximation yet. We're just going to write down what it looks like. So it's 0 0.16 repeating. And then we're going to change that to a percent. So that's a decimal right now. To change to a percent we're going to multiply it by 100. Um, so that's going to be roughly 16.6%, uh, but if we're going to round that, we can put it as 16.7% or 17%. So we're going to put um, approximately equal to, and let's just go to 16.7% is the percent of increase. All right, let's try another one. So now we're going to use the same formula. Remember, so for all these questions, we're going to use this same formula, this percent of change formula. But it's going to be called different things. So this one was percent of increase. The next one, percent of markup. So when you work at a store, if you're the manager of a store, uh, you obviously make money by selling things for a higher price than you bought them for. So in this case, we are, are the manager of an electronics store. We're ordering walkie-talkies for $14.85 each. We're then going to sell them for $19.90 each. What is the percent markup? Same thing. So we're going to need the amount of change divided by the original is going to equal the percent change. Actually, we're going to have to multiply by 100 as well. So that would be a decimal amount of change. And then when we multiply by 100, we're going to get our percent, right? So let's not forget that. As always, the best way to memorize any formula that you're going to need to use over and over again is to write it out every time before you plug in values. So notice, even though it's written right here, even though you could have this written on the top of your homework and just refer to it, the best thing to do is refer to it, rewrite it with each new problem, then use it. Okay. So 
Amount of change. Well, we're going from 1485 to 1990. Um, so we're going to have to do the subtraction here. Again, you're going to want to start with the bigger number. Uh, so we have 19.9 minus 14.85. That's going to give us the change in price. And the original is right here. That's what we bought it for, 14.85. Don't use the original price as what you're selling it for. It's what you bought it for. And then we're going to multiply by 100 in a moment. So first, 1990 minus 14.85 is $5.05. .05. And we're going to divide that by 14.85. This is going to be about one third, which is something I like to do before. <coughs> Excuse me, I had to go find my calculator. Uh, I always like to estimate what's going to happen before I calculate, just in case I hit the wrong key or something. Uh, so this is going to be about one third, so it should be about 33% ish. Um, so let's try it out. So we're going to get 5.05 divided by 14.85. And so that's going to be um, 0. 0.34, I'm going to stop there, it actually goes on farther, so it's approximately 0 0.34, which is going to equal 34%, which is really close to what I thought it would be, which was 33%, because 5 times 3 would be about 15, which is pretty close to 14.85. Um, so, the percent markup in this case, now notice we're using the percent change formula, but we're using it to find the percent markup because markup is just a change in price so the percent markup in this case 34 percent next problem um, percent of discount okay so again we're going to be using that same formula which was amount of change divided by the original amount Multiplied by 100 is going to equal percent change, or in this case, the percent of discount. Again, I'm writing the formula as is before I plug anything in, just so I get to a point where I have it memorized. All right, during a clearance sale, a keyboard that normally sells for $49.99 is discounted to $34.99. What is the percent of discount? All right, the amount of change, we go from this to that, so that's a subtraction problem. So we have $49.99 minus $34.99. We're going to then divide by the original. So normally sells for that. So that's our original amount. Uh, we're then going to multiply by 100. We'll do that in a moment. So $49.99 minus $34.99 is 15 bucks even. and divided by 49.99 again I'm going to use a calculator here um, you could do it on paper but that's going to be pretty time consuming uh, I always see if it's going to go in evenly or something before I use a calculator uh, but again before I use a calculator I'm going to do some quick estimation 15 times 3 would be 45 so it's not quite one-third so it's probably going to be close to 30 percent so let's try it on our calculator. 15 divided by 49.99 equals, ooh, real close to 30%. It's actually 0.30006001, so very close to 30%. I'm going to pat myself on the back for that one. So the percent of discount was 30% easy so it's just this one formula we're using to solve all kinds of different uh, problems so like I said a lot of applications um, if you have any questions we'll talk about it tomorrow